So with this release, we really wanted to push the boundaries, and if you listen to it, you'll hear exactly what I'm talking about. We took a lot of risks that aren't normally in pop punk or any kind of punk, but we love it, and we just can't wait to show it with the world because it's sick. Like, I guess for, for this release, I just pushed myself musically. Um, I kind of stepped outside of my comfort zone that I set for myself, and. Even though some elements aren't, you know, pop punk, I don't care because they sound cool and like we love the music and that's really all that matters. Their, their sound has developed, but it hasn't gotten to the point where it, it's like a shell of what it was. But I was really surprised to hear when they were sending me demos that it's pretty much the, it was pretty much a similar sound. They hadn't watered anything down. Uh, even after kind of working with songwriters and starting to develop some new styles and techniques, things had stayed pretty, pretty kosher. This time, I really wanted to kick it up with the guitars, just make it super energetic, super fun. I literally wrote the songs to a BPM that is very easy to jump to um, for live shows, because that was at the forefront of this entire EP. It's just. When we play it live, we want it to be so fun and we want it to be a party. And you can really hear it. I'd say my vocal style has definitely changed a little bit. Even like before joining Mamata, I was really adamant on not putting myself in a box of just a pop punk vocalist. Because usually, I don't want to throw shade, but pop punk vocalists usually are like, you know, a little rough around the edges, like you hit a note, whatever. So I was like, if I join this band, I'm not going to limit myself to what I provide and, and give. Um, so, with this EP, I guess I do sound a little bit different than our earlier stuff. It's still me, but it, I'm a lot more comfortable with myself within pop punk, because, I don't know, I grew up singing R&B, classical, gospel, whatever. My inspirations for this EP was a lot of, like, Pink, a lot of Kelly Clarkson, early Demi Lovato, early Hilary Duff, stuff like that. I'm bringing back the 2000s truly, but also my voice is very soulful, so you hear a lot of that as well. I don't know, bringing back like ad-libs and really cool runs that you obviously would not hear in pop punk, that's what I'm trying to do. Everything is intentional. Everything sounds absolutely like exactly how we wanted it to sound. In, in many ways, this is like, it's like everybody's record, obviously, but it's really a vocal record. Like the vocals are just so pristine on this and Edith has like raised her game so much. Uh, so I wanted to make sure that like, when you hear these vocals, like you are connected with them. We had like a span of like seven to eight months to write the CP. Like a week before the deadline, we had an EP that we were comfortable with and we're gonna put out, but something just fell off about it. Every demo we had and we're planning on putting on the EP didn't feel right. They're great songs, they're great songs, but it was like, there was a feeling that was bugging us. And then Tan and I were like, okay, so I think we want to go a little bit more easy core with this and kind of like ease people into like the new Mamata sound. And like, I don't know, it was like four days before we had to have the demos to the label. We decided a few days before. It was like a week and a half out. Let's just write it all over again. So we did. And I'm so glad that we did because we wouldn't have written Mapped Out, Brighter Days, Wake Up. We wouldn't have written any of those songs and those are some of our favorite songs. And I was like, okay, do this for me. If you do nothing else, keep Never Gonna Change. And keep, I think it was one more song that they didn't end up keeping because it was so radically different from the other tunes. I was definitely a little worried, especially when Tan and Edith decided to just restart everything. But at the same time, I knew no matter what, I'm going to be drumming these songs and they're going to sound amazing. And I had all my trust in them. And it's not hard to have all my trust in them. At the end of the day, it felt right. And that's all that matters. So we're super happy that it, it worked. We got all the songs done by the deadline. We love how they turned out in the studio. We're just super excited about this music and it's, it's just so genuine and authentic and that's what we really love about it.